So hi and hello. Welcome to our channel named Algo Exploration. My name is Sameer and today we are going to learn about bucket sort. Before going to bucket sort, let me first quickly explain how the insertion sort work because further we will be needing it. Now given an array A which contains 6 elements, we have to sort it. Now let's see how we can sort it. Starting from A of 0 that is 42, we will simply put 42 here. Now we will go further 18. Now we will compare with the element from the right hand side. 18 will be compared with 42. Now since 42 is greater, we will simply shift 42 to the right side. Okay. We will keep 42 here and we will keep 18 here. I hope you got it. I have explained the working of inches and sort, but I am revising it. Okay, now we are at 7. Similarly, 7 will be compared with the elements from right hand side it will be compared with 42 now 42 is greater so we will shift 42 to the right hand side and again 7 will be compared with 18 as well now 18 is also greater so we will shift to right 18 here and we will put 7 here now again 33 so 33 will be compared with 42 and 42 is greater so shift 42 to right hand side and then we will compare with 18. Now 18 is lesser than 33, so we will put 33 here. Now 91. Now 91 is greater than 42, so we will we won't do anything, we will simply put 91 here. Right? So now 55. 55 is compared with 91, and 91 is greater, so shift 91 to right side, 91, and then compare 55 with 42 and 42 is smaller so we will put 55 again right so in this way inches and sort works so what will be the time complexity it will be in the worst case it will be order of n square and space complexity is order of 1 right because let's say we have one more element that is 1 now 1 is being compared with 91 then 55 then 42 then 33, then 7, sorry 18, then 7 and all the elements is being shifted. So one will be stored here. Now we have to compare all the n minus 1 element, right? So what if these cases happens to all the element? So at the worst case it will be order of n square. Now let's go further to the bucket sort. Here I have written the bucket sort algorithm, but it has only three steps maybe that is store the n into a of 5 in b okay sort the b of 5 using insertion sort and then concatenate all the cells this three mainly step depends on how the bucket sort is done. so let's get started now our first step is observe here what we have to do we have to multiply a of 5 with n here n is 10 that is nothing but length of an array a right so 0 0.78 will be multiplied with 10 that will be 7.8 now 0 0.71 0 0.17 will be multiplied with 10 that will be 1.7 this will be 3.9 2.6 7.2 9.4 2.1 1 1.2 2.3 and 0 sorry 6.8 now our next step is we have to take the floor value this is nothing but a floor value i hope you know that this is we have to take the floor value and this is we have to take the c value let's say the number is given is 7.6 so floor value will be 7 and c value will be 8 okay so we have to take here the floor value this will be 7, this will be 1, this will be 3, this will be 2, this will be 7, 9, 2, 1, 2 and 6. Now starting from first index that is 7, here 7 is written. So we have to go at B of 7, right and we have to put here 0 0.78, is that simple. Now again. 
we have to take one go at b of one and put here 0 0.17 now 3 go at b of 3 and put here 0 0.39 all we have to do all we have to do that we have to put in b in the form of linked list now 2 go at b of 2 and put 0 0.26 now go at 7 put 0 0.72 okay so since we are putting in the form of linked list 0 0.78 will be attached to 0 0.72 now 9 we will go at b of 9 and put here 0 0.94 now 2 go at b of 2 and attach to 0 0.26 as 0 0.21 now go at 1 go at 0. Point, go at 1 b of 1 and attach 0 0.12 now 2 will be 0 0.23 right and at last 6 go at b of 6 and put 0 0.68 now our next step is we have to sort the list or we can say sort the bucket that this is nothing but a bucket okay using insertion sort you can use any sorting algorithm but mostly insertion sort is used now what we will do we will do sorting so 0.12 will come first and then 0.717 here 0.21 then 0.23 and then 0.6 this will be sorted only this is also sorted now here it will be 0.2 and then 0.8 and this is also sorted now what we are doing we are just concatenating all the elements present in the buckets so let's concatenate now 0 0.12 will come then 0 0.17 then 0 0.21 then 0 0.23 then 0 0.26 0 0.39 0 0.68 0 0.72 0 0.78 and at last 0 0.94 so we can see that here the array has been sorted so what we are doing firstly we are creating an array called p of size n then we are simply inserting a of i by multiplying it with n and taking floor value right now after that we are doing insertion sort on each bucket and then we are concatenating so this will take n time this also will take n time what about this if the elements are uniformly distributed. This is an important point. If the elements are uniformly distributed, then it will simply take order of n. But let's see at bucket B of 5, all the elements goes at B of 5. Then we have to do insertion sort, which will take order of n square. Right? So due to this, if there is no uniformly distributed then the, at the worst case bucket sort will take order of n square time but if it is uniformly distributed like in this case mostly it is in uniformly distributed only that is at all the bucket the number of elements are nearly equal so at this time it will take order of n so this is the best case this is the worst case and what about the space complexity it will be order of n because we are taking the help of array b so this is time complexity and this is space space complexity i hope you got it please dry run it by yourself in the next lecture i'll be putting the code of this bucket sort. okay so thank you